Am I close enough or? Yeah. Yeah? yeah good. Okay. <laughs> my name is, my full name is Joseph Duplantier. Uh, I'm fucking French. And uh, I play in a band called Gojira. We're on tour with Inflames and All That Remains and 36 Crazy Fists. That's fucking hard to say. First show tonight and I watched uh, 36 play and uh, they just blew my mind. I mean, they're fucking amazing. And uh, All That Remains are also really, really interesting and really like it's uh, full of energy like a firework. And Inflames, yeah, they're great. We did, we did a tour with them in Europe, uh, 30 gigs. So. It's going to be blessed, I think. Preservation, yeah. activism. More people have to get aware of this. Uh, people have to get aware that we're stuck all together on a very small planet, and uh, uh, we have to take care of that planet. It's very simple. It's very, it's very simple. I mean, um, we got to take some distance on the situation, and we're we don't have to defend one village or one city or one language or one country i'm talking about saving all of us and um it's you know i, I don't want to preach or anything it's it's because you ask that i talk about it but it's really something that means a lot to our band to all of us the four of us and uh, uh, because i read the lyrics i, I you know I, I i talk about that sometimes and it's really something that that matters and um, what can I say? Uh, to me, it's the only political uh, uh, subject or whatever that's, that's really important uh, nowadays. All the rest is less important because if we don't uh, fix the problem now, everything is going to disappear anyway. No one likes to really talk about that kind of stuff. Yeah. Because they don't want people don't want to change their ways, you know. They don't want to change their everyday life, and they want more comfort if it's possible. And uh, people, you know, the the dream that everyone has not everyone, but a lot of people is like to to get suddenly a lot of money in order to have two houses, a big car, and just don't give a fuck about anything, you know. And I think that's that's bad you know I mean um, and people know that it's bad people know that because the information that we're endangered is everywhere and, uh, and just watch you know um, our cities you know watch uh, watch even watch TV you know it's 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 an information that it's very clear and the people don't want, want to face that that reality you guys are now touring the states touring Canada, everyone's driving big cars. Yeah. Um, there is a conspiracy in a certain way because people know what they're doing and, they, and they're still doing it. So we could call that a conspiracy, but at the same time, I would call that a lack of consciousness. I mean, real consciousness is more than just uh, understand something. It's it's more than that. It's 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 feeling something and making it like uh, a reality. You know, like when you feel you should do something and you f finally do it. When you take take the step, you know, take the first step. It's that's that's a real decision. That's really being aware of something. As long as you, as you have the information and you understand the situation, but you don't want to feel anything about it and you don't want to change anything, you don't understand. I mean, um, if you finally change your ways, you understand. Uh, I, I'm trying to do that myself in my life, you know, my everyday life. Uh, I try to save energy. I try to spread the message about this or that. I try to, to get informed, um, to get information. Um, of the endangered spaces, or what? What can I do to save energy? You know, uh, turn off the water when I don't need it. You know, for example, when you wash your hands, you can uh, leave the water for two minutes instead of, of ten seconds. You know, and um, uh, you, if you can ride your bike instead of driving your car, uh, when you just have like uh, you know 500 meters to, to do uh, that, all that kinds of things. You know people know they can change or turn off the light when you leave a room or 
there's so many little things that we can do and it, there are bigger things that we can do also like uh, uh, give money to Greenpeace or to Sea Shepherd you know Sea Shepherd company they're helping um, uh, the wildlife uh, in, in, in the ocean the, the whales the dolphins and the sharks um, you know uh, all that kind of stuff, things are, you, are, you can you can buy this actually on the internet this this sweater um, it's good quality it's uh, it'll keep you warm and uh, it, it helps you know so that's one thing that you can do you know are people in Europe cynic about the environment the way they are in, in North America yeah I feel it's different but it, it's somehow it's it's a bit the same but in some countries like um, in Scandinavia the people are really doing things you know they're um, working a lot on clean power and they have a different approach to um, our societies or the way they behave to each other they have a lot of respect for example people drive slowly in, in the cities and if you if um, uh, someone uh, sh uh, show up pedestrian yeah, uh, put pedestrian. his, his uh, foot on the on the street everybody stop you know that's a, a kind of respect they have in Scandinavia for example uh, that I don't really see in New York, for example. If you put your foot uh, on the road, you're dead, right? Yes. And um, well, I, anyway, I don't want to compare. Yeah, you know, yeah, no. people are, are cynical in the states, but at the same time, things are can change very fast. Yeah, yeah. For example, you we go from Bush to Obama. That's a you know a big step. That's yeah. very positive. So that's uh, um, something about America that is really positive. It's change. Uh, things can change very fast. And in Europe, maybe it will take um, more time, and, and, and things go slower. But maybe um, some of the governments are more uh, a, a bit wiser on some stuff, you know, environment. But it's it's slower at the same time. So who knows, you know, who knows what's the best? It's like both um, the crowds when we play in, in Europe is a bit different than America. But it's both are great, but yeah. in different ways. And uh, so I don't want to compare. But yes, America, you you guys, uh, you drive big cars, even in Quebec and Canada, like bigger uh, than uh, France and, and Europe in general. That's uh, that's prob probably, we don't need big cars, right? We can drive small cars and clean cars. But uh, uh, apart from that, we're metalheads. We really love metal. It's not something that we do just uh, to introduce a message or whatever. It's, we're metalheads, you know, to the bone. I mean, uh, we love, you know, when uh, if you if you play some Pantera, I get crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like I really enjoy that, and um, deeply and tr truly enjoy that. And uh, and uh, the four of us in the band, we're metalheads. <laughs> and uh, but uh, we want to be honest when we write lyrics. We don't want to say like uh, bullshit. You know, we want to say things that are that that matters to us. You know, so it's very very simple. And uh, the um, environmental. Uh, lyrics, uh, uh, environmental friendly lyrics, uh, whatever you call it, it's just one part of, of Gojira. Like there are other stuff also. Like what? Uh, other stuff. <laughs> no, maybe more spiritual stuff. You know, I would say like I would I would say like that. You know, like uh, soul searching and uh, wondering why we're here. And uh, well, it goes with. You know the questions yeah. about the environment and, and the fact that we're destroying everything. But uh, things related to the soul and to uh, uh, the the important questions that we have inside, you know, 